Hello. Okay. So I wanted to start off by saying I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit funny. Um, it might sound completely normal. However, in person, I feel like it sounds kind of off. My allergies have been crazy, but I still wanted to do my spirit story Saturday as usual. Um, you know, so I guess I'll go ahead and just jump right to it. This particular story takes place in my boyfriend's house. Now, his grandfather passed away several years back, and his grandfather's favorite show had a particular whistling tune that went with it. And apparently this tune has been heard in his home before. And one night, I was staying the night with him, and he was going to sleep. I was sitting up near the television because I had it turned down low. I didn't want to disturb him. The house was quiet. There was nothing that really I could have mistaken this for. So as I'm sitting there in the hallway, I hear the same whistling tune that is from this particular show that has been heard before. And I just turned around, I looked towards the end of the room I woke my boyfriend up from his, you know, slightly drifting off sleep because he, I don't think he was all the way asleep yet. He had just laid down not long before. You know, I yelled his name. He woke up, he looked at me and I just, I told him, I said, I heard the whistling and he already knew what I was talking about. And he looked at me and he was just kind of like, no, you didn't like wanting to deny it just because, you know, it, it's kind of creepy and you know, waking up to that and hearing that, it, it can be a little startling. And I was like, yeah, I did. And, you know, I began to cry and I went over and he held me for a minute and everything to calm me down because I was really scared. Now, looking back on this, it really wasn't anything to be scared of because if it was his grandfather, I feel like that was just his way of saying hello. Um, you know, it's not that it would be anything harmful. It's just that's kind of an initial reaction sometimes to something you really don't expect if you're scared. Now, keep in mind, my whole life I've been able to see and communicate with things, but this was one of the first few big times that I actually really heard something. Now, when I say I've been able to communicate with things, being a sensitive, I can often tell if there's a spirit in the room if it's male, female, a general appearance, and a message they're trying to convey, but it's more, you know, mind-wise. It's more a sensing kind of thing, whereas hearing something outside the ear, you know, outside of your head that's just more like me and a person speaking to each other, it's quite frightening because that is like another level of communication, and it was just really startling I think more than anything because I'm so much into the spiritual world and everything and I've heard things before but I guess my reaction was so much emotion because I was so startled by this now looking back on it I think it's really neat and if he ever started whistling again and I heard it I would probably <laughs> Now that I know what's going on and wouldn't be as startled, I would probably be more excited and say hello back and everything just because I feel like it's more so something that's, you know, beautiful in a way because if it's a loved one saying hello, it's something that, you know, you want to hold on to because maybe he was wanting to be heard and if it was specifically by me maybe he wanted me to let his family know that he's there it was his way of saying hello and I think that can be a beautiful thing now this spirit story of course you know it was pretty brief and everything kind of like my last one kind of brief not too much into it um, but it's one of the big ones, especially given that it's something that was heard that has been heard previously by others. So I just thought it was pretty neat. I wanted to share it. And like I always say, 
maybe when my channel picks up, people will enjoy commenting their spiritual experiences in the comments. Feel free to. And if you've stumbled upon my YouTube channel, take a moment, hit the subscribe button if you would like. I post every Saturday a spirit story and often will, you know, try to post an investigation as well. I do do paranormal investigations and try to post the ones I feel are the most worth sharing and I think that might be interesting for some viewers. So if you're interested in that, go ahead, hit the subscribe button keep watching and um, I do have a new investigation that should be taking place next month that's supposed to be a pretty big one at a pretty known location if all goes as planned so if all goes as planned I should be getting that investigation done next month if not I definitely will get it done at some point but all should go as planned so thanks for watching again if you haven't go ahead and subscribe and just keep watching because i have a lot more content to share and i'm excited to share with everybody